Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Odd Jobs by Jolly Rogers. This is another puzzle that was recommended and I really love that I get these recommendations. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump into the puzzle on this one. Um, so everyone knows about the voting that's happened. Well, you may not, but over in the community section, there is uh, voting happening on the best puzzles of 2023. Nominations came in and we're just eliminating down. So you can vote on uh, each couple of days I'm releasing a new vote um, and you just vote on which one is going to get promoted to the next slip rank and which one's going to get eliminated. I said I was going to get straight onto the puzzle and then I didn't. Let's do it now. So Odd Jobs by Jolly Rogers. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Along thermometers, digits must increase in value from bulb to tip. So as we go up the thermometer, digits must go up. Digits joined by an X sum to 10. Digits in a cage cannot repeat and must sum to the value, given value. Digits along an arrow sum to the digit in the arrow's circle. And here's the big one. In this puzzle, all cells associated with a clue can only contain odd digits apart from the four given digits. So apart from these, every cell that's associated with a clue may only contain odd digits. Cool. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I'm going to start with the arrows, I think, because the minimum I can put into the arrows are 1, 3, and 5. Now, 1, 3, and 5... Hang on. Yeah, 1, 3, 5 is 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. That has to be this, and it's going to be the same down here. These have to be 1, 3, 5. 1, 3, 5 sums to 9. If I was to do anything other than the three minimum odd digits, I would blow the top level. I, I just can't do it. So those are 1, 3, 5, and 9. Okay, so along this thermometer, um, because I can only work with the odd digits, this is maximum nine, maximum seven, maximum five, maximum three. So it's one, three, three, five, five, seven, seven, nine. And it's the same here. One, three, three, five, five, seven, and seven, nine. Now I've, hmm, not sure. Now, also, these X's are limited because you can never put a five on an X. So this has to be either one nine or three seven. So if it's one nine, it's one nine or it's three seven. So there must be a seven or a nine in one of those. If this is one nine, that's a seven. If this is one nine, oh, it would be one nine seven five three one. And that would probably work. If it's three seven, this is nine... This would be five, seven, and that would be one or three. Yeah, I'm not sure. And this is the same. This is, so one and three are limited here because this has to be one, three, seven, nine as well. So it's going to be one of these killer cages. So 13. If I put a nine into it, I need another four, which would be one, three, nine. If I put a seven into it, I need another six, which would be, yeah, so I can put anything into it. One, three, five, seven, nine. Can I put a one into a 17 cage? So I'd need another 16, which would be seven, nine. I can. So where is the kickoff for this puzzle? Okay, so here, one, three, five. This is a one or a three. This is one, three, five. Five is in one of those two. There's no five here. Five is in one of those two. This is a one or a three. Five is in one of those two. Do I have anything else like that? Well, maybe I could do the following. I could turn around and say all of these are odd digits. And maybe I can get some form of odd even coloring happening. Because one, two, three, four, five, those are all odd. So these have to all be even. One, two, three, four, not sure. These are even. I know those are even. I'm looking for places where there's a restriction. So there's a seven in one of these, and the others are all even. This can't be one or three. Because if I, if this is a one, this is three, seven. If this is th three, this is one, nine. So the one and the three are uh, a position D. This can't be one or three. So this is five, seven, or nine. Let's 
this is seven or nine because of the one, three, five. That could be important because if this is seven, this has to sum to 10 and becomes, if this is seven, this couldn't be three, seven. So this would be one, nine. If this is seven, this is one, nine. And this would be seven, one, nine. So seven, seven, five, three, one. If this is nine, these would have to sum to eight. which I could do with any of the other digits. I could do it with one, seven or three, five. So I get back to having everything. Damn it. So what's the break-in trick here? If this is nine, this has to sum to four, which would be one, three. Okay, if this is seven, this would have to sum to six, which I could do with one, five. And if this is five, this has to sum to eight, which would be one, seven. So there must be a one in here. If this is nine, this is one, three. If this is seven, this is one, five. And if this is five, this has to sum to eight, but I can't use three, five. So there must be a one in one of those two. And I can never put a nine in here. Because if this is one nine, this would need to be a three. And this can't be a three because of the one, three looking down. There's never a nine in there. So where is the nine in this row? That is a nine, so that is a seven. Seven plus nine is 16, and that is a one. There's no one there. One is in one of those two. That is not the one, and this is a one. That's very, very weird. But the nine makes this seven, this five, this three, and this one. That takes three out of here. But this one means this is not one nine, it's three seven, and seven comes out of here. The five makes that the seven, seven and one is eight, so this is five. There's no five here, this is one three, so this is the five. That is very weird and could be very tricky to spot. I mean, I thought it was tricky to spot. The one and the three here takes three out of there, which takes seven out of there. This is a seven nine pair now. Do I actually need this coloring? The one here makes this three, which takes three out of here. This is one five. So this is three. So five, seven, and nine, which means this is seven and three. The seven here makes this three and this seven. The five here makes this one and this five. The three here makes this one and this three. And I've now done all of the clues. So I'm now just down to Sudoku. That's weird. That was really tricky, and I don't know that I would have realized that was the weak spot if I hadn't done the coloring. Three is now here by Sudoku. This is a triple, which is two, four, eight. There's no eight there. Actually, maybe I wanted to keep the coloring. I'm not sure. One is here by Sudoku. One is in one of those two. I've got to put a nine in one of those two. So there's in one of uh, one of these two. So there's a nine in one of those two. Nine, however, in this column, it can't go in any of those. It can't go there because of that. So this is the nine, and these are two, four, eight. One is in one of those two, so where's one in these? Because the, this one knocks out there, that one knocks out there, that one knocks out there. So in this row, one is here. So three is in, oh, this is a three though, because three in this box, it can't be in those, and this three knocks out that, and that three knocks out that. So that's the three, that's the one, which knocks out that and makes that the one. 
three is in one of those two, but that three says it's not there and that's the three and I've got all the threes. Now, can I do much on fives? Five and five means five is in one of those two. Five and five means five is in one of those two. Five is not in any of those. So five is in one of those two, which puts five in one of those two, which means in row four, five can't be in those or those. So that becomes a... Whoa, 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 I made a mistake. Let's go, roll back to where I didn't make a boo-boo. Five and five means five is in one of those two. Five and five means five it would be in one of those two, but that five makes that a five, which means this is a five, which puts five in one of those two. That... <laughs> <laughs> okay, sevens. Seven and seven means that's a seven. Seven and seven puts seven in one of those two. Seven and seven means this is a five seven pair. Nines. Nine and nine puts nine in one of those two. Nine and nine puts nine right there because nine has to be in one of those two, but that nine eliminates that one, which puts nine in one of those two. Nine, nine makes this a seven, nine pair, but this nine makes that the seven, that the nine, which makes that the five and that the seven. The five looks back saying that's not the five, that's the five. And now I've got these nines left over as the only odd digits I haven't placed. One three five seven nine. 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 So the even digits need to break that open. The four here takes four out of here. So there's a six in one of those two, and this is two six eight. These are well. I've got one three five seven nine in the row. So these are two four six. Ah, uh, there's no two here. So this is a four or an eight. I've got to break open these even digits. Ah, the four here makes this the two, which takes two out of those. This is a four, eight. So that becomes a two. Taking two out of those, that's a six, eight, which means that's a four, that's an eight, that's a four, which means that's an eight. These are now four and six because of the two, eight, and I've got all the evens. So these are two and eight. Uh... Eight is in one of those two. The four here takes four out of there. So four is in one of those two. These are two, four, six, eight. There's a four here. So this is two, six, eight. Four is in one of those two. These are two, four, and six. Because I've got eight and there's no four there. So four is in one of those two, which means that's a four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six. So these are eight and nine. So this is known. This is just a two. So this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, and eight. These are four, six, eight. There's no eight there. So this is a... And the four here looks up. This is a six. So this is a four, eight pair, which takes eight out of there, making this two, six, which makes this eight and this six. These are two, four, and eight. There's no two there. There's no four there. That's eight. That's two. That's four. This row is missing a two, which makes that the eight. The eight looks down, making that the nine and that the eight, which looks up taking that's not the nine, that's the nine, which finally resolves all the odd digits. This is the missing six, which takes six out of both of those. That's two, four. That becomes the six, which makes that the two, that the six. The two looks back, making that the four and that the two. The four looks back, making that the eight and that the four. Uh, I take six out of both of those. Those are two and four. So this is six and eight. The eight looks up making that six and that eight. The six looks up making that four and that six. The four looks down making that two and that four. And that is the correct solution. 13 minutes and 19 seconds. Not a hard puzzle.
but a lot of fun. The, the spot in row eight, though, quite tricky. I liked that puzzle. That was a lot of fun. Not all puzzles need to be brutally hard to be fun. That was good. Thank you, Jolly Rogers. I liked that one. That was a lot of fun. I mean, people say, oh, you're never... I, I've had comments that's like, oh, you always compliment your puzzles. You're never going to rag on a puzzle. Have a look at some of my streams. I definitely rag on puzzles. Um, that was great. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Um, I don't know what else to say. Good luck with your solving. <laughs>